Show ho, mo ho, bitches. Today we're going to talk about the Shadow Proclamation, which is a Doctor Who, you know, space police. All right, allons-y, let's go. Yeah, like you probably heard, I spoke weird uh, right there in the beginning, in the intro, because that's actually the language of the Jadoon. The Jadoon are actually the members of this uh, Shadow Proclamation. This is some sort of space police, I guess, uh, and the Jadoon are like rhino rhinos, rhinoceros, uh, things who protect the galaxy and, uh, I guess, the universe from evil threats. So, let's talk about this idea, uh, because I thought, you know, this could be very interesting, obviously. Like, the Jadoon don't really speak English, right? Uh, but that's not really the main essential things. I really want to focus on the bigger council, I guess, of this, this company. Uh, like for example that one uh, woman with her uh, white hair from uh, the episode called The Stolen Earth. So, uh, I want to talk about that episode because the Jadoon are very interesting, very badass. I mean the rhinosaurus, rhinos I guess and black suits and they wear weapons and they're like, you know, big boys man, the big boys of the galaxy. But these people uh, try to protect the galaxy obviously, the Shadow Proclamation has all sorts of different projects, different assignments, different uh, laws and rules too. Uh, for example, in the latest uh, Doctor Who Star Beast episode, the Doctor actually tells uh, the Beep the Meep and these Wrath Warriors about the Shadow Proclamation and stops them right there from fighting and nobody can pull a weapon until he is done telling his, his uh, court case, I guess. But yeah, that's really interesting because the Shadow Proclamation have rules which the people of the universe need to apply to, need to follow, because otherwise they will probably be, uh, you know, attacked or uh, for some reason, you, you know, not really defended by the Jadoon anymore or the Shadow Proclamation. The Shadow Proclamation, like I said, is like a space police. So I was wondering about like different police shows. Uh, for some reason, I haven't watched a lot. I was thinking of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but of, of course, obviously, the Shadow Proclamation is very serious, so Brooklyn Nine-Nine is a bit too funny in that case. So, maybe some kind of CIA uh, police uh, series could be like inspirations for this one, because, I mean, the Shadow Proclamation is not really that funny, I guess. It's more like serious... Um, and for example, if you have the 10th Doctor or the 13th Doctor because they already had, uh, you know, a persons with the Jadoon before, they're more like the funny bit, right? The 10th Doctor makes sarcastic jokes, the 13th Doctor is confused why they're here, and obviously that's also with the Fugitive Doctor. And obviously you can also make a story about that, uh, about Joe Martin's Fugitive Doctor, that could be really cool. And why the Jadoon are, you know, chasing her, that gets explained in the episode for a bit, but still... You know, that could be really wonderful if the Jadoon try to cast or, uh, you know, try to, uh, you know, the um, fugitive doctor into their system for some reason. Maybe they could be on a mission from the, uh, what's it called, the um, Gallifreyan Council thing where she actually needs to do her missions from. Uh, the Division, right? That's, that. yeah. So probably the Division and the Shadow Proclamation could work together as like allies and the Fugitive Doctor could be there to make some appearances. That could be interesting, right? It doesn't really need to be like about the newest Doctor, like the 14th Doctor or the Shooty Gatwa Doctor being in there. That could be like about Fugitive Doctor, maybe have an appearance uh, for uh, or about like different characters. Like, I don't know, uh, say for example, Beep the Meep could be in this one because uh, uh, he or the Meep gets arrested, right, at the end of the Star Beast episode. Maybe the Wrath Warriors could also be in this one and have a court case or something, just like the 14th Doctor did, but bigger and on a, uh, you know, universal scale. For example, I have this comic book uh, strip, I guess, comic book, uh, you know, catalog, I guess, of a different 10th Doctor stories, and the Shadoon also get appearance and that so i'm going to show you right now what i'm talking about so as you can see right over here this is a little catalog with a few 10th uh, doctor you know adventures i i think the light is a bit annoying right now so yeah there we go we have the uh, pages which it's uh, it's a lot actually uh, you can see the 10th doctor on the cover here and also marth and the 10th doctor but i need to you know try to search for that uh, 
What is it? Ah, story. There we go. Uh, all right. Yes, nice. I found it. I found it. So the doctor eventually have has some adventures with Charlie Chaplin and stuff like that. She can see over here. But then he gets uh, recruited or uh, tries to get um, you know in contact with the Jedi. Oh, oh. And this uh, madam here with her grey hair, like I said, she's like a boss of the Shadow Proclamation, it seems. So, uh, yeah, like I said, the 10th Doctor didn't listen to the rules that the Shadow Proclamation made, and that's why he is, uh, you know, tried to, uh, you know, arrested, I guess. So, Jadun also in here, so that's nice. And so, she says, you were brought here immediately for trial, and if you were found guilty, the sentence would be death. So, like I said, it's could also be about trial and court case like uh Pat Crossall is like one of those lawyer shows and um, yeah it could be really cool it could be like a law and uh what is it law and office no wait law and forces series kind of like you know the uh, justice system and the uh, protection ish system of the galaxy it could be really interesting and we could also have like different aliens popping in maybe Oods or, or uh, Zygons, maybe they did something wrong and like I said, that could be really interesting to see some kind of Doctor Who lawyer show uh, from about the different aliens of the Doctor Who universe like Beep the Meep, like I said, Wrath Warriors and other aliens that did some horrible crimes maybe Captain Jack Harkness could also be in there because he also got inside of that prison from the 13th Doctor uh, why is it? Um, I think it was Revolution of the Daleks episode. Yeah, so that could also be very interesting. And look, people are trying to kill the 10th Doctor, so that could also be a story about, you know, people getting um, almost killed in the court case itself, and, you know, mystery going on, why they're getting killed, and, you know, stuff like that could be very interesting. And the 10th Doctor also gets in, uh, you know, this uh, cargo uh, vehicle with three other aliens. And there we go. And for some reason, there's also one enemy in here, or the one character in here, which was actually the first, or the species was the first security people of the Shadow Proclamation, but they replaced them with the Shadoon. So that's interesting, and hopefully you enjoyed this video, because I got to say, I really think this could be one of the most interesting, you know, ideas out there, like, I'm making some kind of, like, uh, what if I were to be showing our Doctor Who spin-off show ideas? Uh, it's kind of more like talking about the ideas that I would love to see and you know I already made an episode about Unit and one about the Paternoster gang But this one, you know, could be interesting as well Law and Order kind of show Law and Order and action and protection and stuff like that In the universe, in the galaxy The Jadun, Rhinos man Could be cooler than that man, love Alright, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Goodbye, bro.